16 and this 10. Okay, when you use those numbers, you're not thinking about 16 going into 32. That, you're just you're not getting the point of the exercise. <laughs> I didn't even know we were exercising. I mean, it looks like we're sitting down right now. <laughs> you are one bullheaded motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Are we gonna get a Waffle House or not? <laughs> well, I, I'm I'm trying to get this. I mean, we can go get it over a drink. How about that? Well, I, I'm I gotta write it all down. I'm trying to uh, do some coding while we do it because I'm trying to get six. How are you coding? Big, I'm making sixteen bit go into sixty four bit. I'm I'm using the math you're teaching me. I mean, I'm learning how to count, and you go from seven to five to ten. That's not the fucking point. You forget that, cause you're not gonna understand that. Okay, t t t tell me a different way then. T tell me how how to understand it. What am I, I not getting? You're just not getting that 16 bit is not is not compatible with 16 with 64 bit without a cushion okay. between. I I know 16 bit does not have any way to read 64 bit i mean that there's no way that's gonna happen but 64 bit should be able to read 16 bit but it's, it's just okay all all so in a society there has to, the coding just doesn't work together without proper tweak without proper coaxing basically <laughs> so i need to run 32 bit on my 64 bit to run 16 bit you need to run 16 bit on your 64 bit to run 16 bit. Period. But I thought you 32. said that. But I thought you said running 16 bit on my 30 or on my 64 bit is impossible. How, how am I gonna I run? It, it's, no, to run 16 bit on 64 bit, you've got to run a 16 bit architecture. So in a sense, you've got to run 16 bit on 64 bit to run 16 bit. But I mean that architecture should already be there. I mean. It's not. It's not there. Get in your head. It's not there. That's my entire point. It's not. But 64 bit is like a higher number. I mean, 16 is with. You have to get that to 16 before you can point. get to 64. So, I mean, si there are 16 bits in 64 bit computers. Yeah. There's a little bit of 16 bit in It might be there, but program compatibility code is not there. Google it. You get a computer in front of you. Google it. You you'll see it right there. But but I can't talk it out. I'm I gotta have somebody to talk to when when I'm learning something. I've learned so much easier that way. I'm trying to talk to you, but you're just being a freaking complete retard. So, so it just won't work. It's that simple. So when you're counting the 64, you have to skip 16 now, right? 16 that doesn't exist. That has nothing exist. to do with absolutely anything. But in order to put 64 bits into a computer, you have to put 16 in first. Therefore, you should be able to run 16-bit programs. No, that's not necessarily true. There may be a little bit of 16-bit coding in Windows. I mean, think about it. There is because you have a you know a command prompt. There's some 16-bit coding probably right there. The thing is, the program to enable for 16-bit programs themselves to run in a 64-bit Windows environment, you've got to have a 16-bit em bit emulator, like a DOS emulator. Uh, okay, what's 16 times four? It's 64, 64. right? So. <laughs> Okay, we can multiply these numbers and add numbers and all this bullshit all day long, all night long, all year long. It's still not going to change the fact that the coding is just not there. So are you saying I can run four 16 bits on my 64-bit computer? No! So. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my God. 
Okay, so what? What's thirty-two times two? Sixty-four, right? Do with anything. <laughs> Quit doing that. So thirty-two times two is sixty-four. Thirty-two divided by two is sixteen. So I can run. I can run. <laughs> Okay, they skip 48 because they don't like the number 48. It just doesn't sound right. I mean, <laughs> 64 is just way better. I mean, I mean, if it's 64, I mean, you can put four 16s in it, and you can run four 16-bit programs as well. You can also run... Just a freaking number. It's basic math right there, which has nothing to do with the actual coding of the computer. But it, the numbers tell you how many bits there are. I mean, if there's 64 bits, you have to go through 16 before you can get to 64. Oh yeah, and there's 260 bit, 256 bit encryptions. Ooh, we freaking do. I don't care. Okay, now we're not talking about the colors and and all that crap. Now we're talking about bits and like. Like codings and and sixty four and thirty two and sixteen. We're not talking about two hundred fifty six. Let's talk about a hundred and twenty eight bit. What are they? What are they gonna do when they move to that, huh? When they have a hundred and twenty eight bit. When they have a hundred and twenty eight bit, the computers are gonna be like the size of a cell phone. You can do whatever you want on your cell phone. That's gonna be cool. And then and then you can have like all the sixteen bits you want on that. I mean, oh just, just, just like now. They're not. They're not you're being stubborn. You're just not getting the point. It just doesn't work. It's that there's no, there shouldn't have to be any explanation. It just doesn't work. It's that simple. It just won't work. But there it, there doesn't need to be all this discussion. But if you can run 32 on 64, why can't you run 16 on 32 on 64? Because it's not true 32 on the 64. But 32 <laughs> is in 64. <clears throat> it's just enough compatibility to run 32-bit programs with no problem. That same compatibility is not there in 64-bit for the 32-bit. The 32-bit, I mean, for, six, for the 16-bit. The, six, the 32-bit and the 64-bit is independent on its own, but it's still part of the 64-bit, basically. Okay. The 16-bit was invented, or was around like 1995, 96, that that time zone, right? Uh, no, no. Around that. No, 16-bit was before, was before then. Like, like 94 or something it, like it, that. It, it, was st it was still kind of in use in the mid-90s. They were starting to get into the 32-bit once win the windows started yeah, coming out. Yeah, about 36 was about 32. Was 96 was about when 32 came out. When uh, it was so 95, it actually yeah. came out. Um, therefore... I can put my computer in compatibility mode all the way to 95. I mean, shouldn't that run 16-bit, yes. though? Okay, no, it shouldn't, because, okay, in order to run, you could run DOS program, 16-bit programs on Windows 95, but that's because Windows 95 itself, the, old, the entire operating system, had a lot of DOS coding in it still, because it was just under DOS, but still, it was still mainstream. Okay, but... If I put my computer in the compatibility mode of 95, couldn't I, like, then run 32-bit running 16-bit? No. <laughs> Don't make this hard on yourself. You just can't. But why not? Because, like I said 50,000 times already, Microsoft did not include... 16-bit program compatibility, and there's 64-bit copies of Windows. Oh, we're talking about Microsoft? XP, I thought we were talking about Linux. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I was talking about this Linux computer over here. You don't have a Linux computer. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Yeah, it's in storage. Quit bullshitting me, please. You're I'm not. I'm not bullshitting. It, it's a uh, Linux uh, version 10.0. 10.0. Oh, 
ten point oh. They it was ten point oh four, not ten point oh. It's still ten point oh. I mean, you got to get to ten point oh before you can get to the four, anyways. I mean, it's the same thing. Oh my God, you're freaking retarded! Just shut up already. You're just being retarded to make me mad. Okay, so if we're not talking about Linux and we're not talking about Windows, are we talking about uh, uh, Mac, Macintosh? What? Fuck you. So on a Macintosh, if you have a 64-bit, could you run 16-bit? I don't know. I've never used one. I don't know enough about them, so I'm not even going to get into that. Okay. Well, then, how, how come we can on Windows, then? You can or can't? C-A-N. Can. Can what? You can run 16 on 64. With a bot simulator... No, j j just by doing it. You can't. You can't do it by doing it. You gotta add the 16-bit architecture to the 64. But I mean, why? But this, but that, <laughs> but your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 32 can run 16, and 64 can run 32. So, why can't 64 run 32 run in 16? Okay, I'm actually get you a free next one after you will shut the fuck up. Do what? I couldn't hear you. I'm actually get you an explanation so you will shut the crap up. But I wasn't crapping though, I'm talking. Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> Okay, so you're you're saying, 16 bit, you can use oh uh, you can run on 32 bit, and 32 bit you can run on 16 bit, therefore you can run 16 on 30 on You there, Caleb? Hang on, I'm doing something here. <laughs> yeah, even some 32-bit programs won't even work on 64-bit OS. Is it just sometimes they won't even work? But that doesn't make sense. I mean, 32 is in 64. Why can't it, you do it? It, it just makes sense because that's how coding, that's how programming works. It just, it just, it just makes sense. It's just how it works. Well, wh why can't you just do it? You just go. The pro it, it just won't work. It's that simple. It, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But it doesn't need to be any more. Explained. It just doesn't work. Well, it I has think nothing. It has nothing to do with it. Just. It should. It just won't. Well, I think we should just do it. Just make it work. You can't, you fucktard. I, I think we can. You can't, you fucktard. You can't. But why not? It just doesn't work that way. But it does it, work the other way. Not, it's, it's just like you can't get another guy pregnant by a dick in an axe. It just doesn't work. Well, what you say just doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, running 16-bit on 32-bit on 64-bit, that makes sense. It makes sense, but that doesn't mean it'll work. But, just because something makes sense does not mean it actually works. But what I said makes more sense than what you said, though. It may make more sense, but what I said still is the truth. <laughs>